One of only two still flying today. The sweet music of its four engines. He's taping, I should be sure. Sound from the past, looking at all of the motion. World War II veterans, Alex, who was with us this weekend and used to fly the Lancasters. And ladies and gentlemen, while the airplane is away, while our veterans can hear it, especially those who served in the Second World War, so few remain, and all they want before they pass on is to know that we will never forget. With your applause, let's make sure they know we will remember. We met a man at the airport museum that drove that one of these. He wrote a book about it. Thank, Thank you, Toronto. You, Beautifully you done. Fly. And now this time round, as the Lancaster flies by, let's set some appropriate music up, shall we? Judge! Thousands of Canadian air crew and other personnel served in the RCAF and RAF Lancaster squadron in England and thousands of Canadians at home worked with Victory Aircraft in Malton, Ontario, where they, they produced over 400 Lancasters and total more than 7,300 Lancasters rolled off the production line in Britain and the Canada. And at least two still fly today. One in Great Britain and this one for the Canadian Warplane Heritage in Hamilton. Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum has dedicated its Bonarski Memorial Lancaster to the memory of Pilot Officer Andrew Charles Narsky. He won six groups for the Victoria Cross, the Commonwealth's highest award for gallantry in battle. On the night of 12, 13 June 1944, his Lancaster was shot down by a Luftwaffe night fighter. As the bomber plunged earthwards, Minarski is flying clothing afire, tried in vain to free his trapped rear gunner from the jammed rear turret. Miraculously, the gunner lived to relate the story of Minarski's bravery. Fortunately, Minarski died from a severe burn. This aircraft is dedicated to his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have the Lancaster back one more time. Don Schofield and the crew so expertly and with such great respect flying this airplane, this priceless piece of flying history. We do invite you to head over to the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum in Hamilton. It is definitely worth a visit. You would never be disappointed. And as the airplane flies by, we'll listen to nothing but the sound of those engines, the music they made. 
and the memories, of course, that they will provoke in the veterans who are here with us today as we remember. It is Veterans Day today, and we salute our veterans and this past dedicated to them, the Lancaster, and the Sound of Attention. Those Rolls-Royce Merlin 224s and the uh, sweet sound. The sound of